everyone. Meteorologist Grant Smith here with the National Weather Service here in Juneau, Alaska. The snow is gone, but now we've got another round of active weather on the way. So I'm uh, just going to bring you a quick little uh, briefing here uh, for southeast Alaska. So let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, first of all, a uh, quick look at the five-day outlook today. Thursday was kind of a break day. Now, I still, there was still some somewhat active weather out there. There was some rain and some snow and some fog, but today was kind of the break day compared to what is coming. Uh, temperatures are going to slowly rise uh, along with snow levels uh, through Monday. And we are tracking uh, some heavy rain potential that's going to move from south to north uh, beginning on Friday and lasting into uh, at least the start of next week. And times there could be surges of heavy rain uh, as well with this. And uh, so we'll talk about the forecast. We'll talk about the details that are still in the works and then some uh, potential impacts of a weather system like this. It does really no good to know what uh, what the weather is if we don't know how it's going to actually impact us. So uh, for starters, uh, this is just a video loop of uh, showing the rising snow levels uh, through Monday. And uh, the big implication to this is the warming temperatures. Uh, not only warmer temperatures aloft, where we could be seeing some melting on the mountaintops, but also warmer here at the sea level, where temperatures warming up into the 40s for highs, could even see some 50 degree marks uh, in the south on Sunday. Sunday. So definitely some very much warmer air uh, on the way. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the, the potential for moisture, the rainfall. Now what you're looking at is just a model simulation uh, of the surge of moisture moving in from the south. This loop starts uh, early Friday morning and then ends early uh, Tuesday morning. And the bright yellows and greens, that's showing uh, the heavier rain uh, moving in according to this uh, model simulation. So uh, the main takeaway that I want you to, to pull away from this simulation is that the rain's not gonna come all at once. It's gonna come up from the south uh, in waves. So there you can see that first wave coming in on Friday as it moves from south to north. There's a little bit of a lull uh, and then going into Sunday, another wave comes up and then Sunday into Monday, another wave comes up. So the heavy rain is going to come in waves, not all at once. So let's talk about the rainfall amounts here. This is on uh, Friday, broadly speaking, amounts generally less uh, than one inch over the 24-hour period. And then moving forward on Saturday, still mostly seeing uh, less than one inch, but there could be some higher amounts in the north, maybe say one to two inches. Uh, that's where you're starting to see those reds and yellow colors there implicate, implicating the, uh, the heavier rainfall. And then for Sunday, still more areas getting kind of one to two inches of rain, uh, but still highest amounts mainly located there in the northern half or northern third. And then on Monday, broad brush areas, one to two inches for most areas in southeast Alaska. So as far as the details that are still in the works, the wind, the wind is going to come in surges just like the rain. So potentials of 40 plus miles per hour uh, wind gusts with each wave. And there's even some potential for high wind gusts. And high wind gusts are defined as 60 miles per hour uh, for the south on uh, Sunday and Monday. So if you're in the uh, outer coast, uh, Prince of Wales Island, Ketchikan, uh, Annette Island areas, the kind of that southern third, that's where we have some potential for some high wind gusts of 60 miles per hour. So keep in mind, uh, if you're not in those areas, still could see some wind gusts upwards of 35 to 40 miles per hour with each wave of, of the heavier rain. Speaking of rainfall, uh, the timing of each wave is going to have some impacts on the forecast. Uh, so stay plugged into the forecast at weather.gov slash Juno. But generally speaking, as each wave comes in, still looking at the heaviest amounts in the northern half or northern third, uh, but still just each wave coming in, the timing of when those come in is still being worked on. And then the snow, there is potential for snow, but mainly at upper elevations on the Klondike and Haynes highways. Speaking of which, we do have a couple of watches that were issued uh, for uh, the Klondike Highway near Skagway. Snow accumulations up to 17 inches possible. Now the timing of the warmer air could mean that this may need to be extended for even greater amounts of snowfall 
if that warmer air is not able to make it all the way up uh, into the uh, Klondike Highway and uh, near Skagway. Now, Skagway could see some minor amounts of snowfall, but as far as the main event is higher up on the on the highway there. And then also for the Haynes Highway and Klaquan area, also seeing snow accumulation around four to nine inches. The main concern when I talked to Dayside when they issued this, this watch here uh, was the timing of the warmer air. If the warmer air arrives earlier than expected, well, then that four to nine inches is probably going to need to be lowered, that forecast of four to nine inches. Uh, but if it takes a while to get up there, still could see some warning uh, level amounts of snow on the highway, but it may need to be extended to the city of Haines itself. Haines looking at just minor accumulations, uh, but just that timing of the warmer air is going to be a challenge for uh, for the Haines area. Uh, so as far as the possible impacts, what does all this mean? Well, the rain on significant snowpack um, is currently in place in the north. It can result in several uh, impacts. Several things could happen. The snow will become heavier as it absorbs the rain, making it more difficult to move. Uh, Heavier snow may affect susceptible properties and vessels, so maybe to keep an eye on those areas as well. Also, all of the uh, drainage of where the rain could go is going to be blocked by the snowfall. And so we could see some ponding on uh, roadways and things like that. And also the hard packed snow will become icy as the rain uh, comes down there. And also snow melt from higher elevations will add to the runoff as well. And also the avalanche uh, forecast. We have been passed on uh, from the local avalanche forecasters with the CBJ, DOT, and AELNP are expecting an increase in avalanches in known avalanche paths through this event. Uh, so, But please refer to those entities for more information on the risk of avalanches, or you can visit juno.org slash avalanches. They are going to be the ones taking care of that part of the forecast. But that is something that we'll need to keep an eye on over this weekend. Uh, but uh, if you made it this far, hey, thanks for watching. Stay plugged into the latest at weather.gov slash Juno. And uh, that's where you can get the latest updates for, meter, uh, for the National Weather Service here in Juneau, Alaska. I'm meteorologist Grant Smith.